There's been a bunch of Facebook updates recently that you absolutely need to know about. The last few months have been a little crazy with ad spend results and the updates they're dropping. I have some big news for you guys in this video. But let's start off with some of the best news that Facebook dropped in a while. The removal of domain verification. Domain verification has been a pain in the ass to be honest. But the cool thing is it's no longer required to set up and prioritize your web events like purchase conversions, add cart conversions, remember aggregated event measurements, you had to previously set up your domain verification in order to access these. So here's some Facebook news. You can now optimize more than eight web events as a part of aggregated event measurements. So you don't have to set up your domain, go into aggregated event measurements tab, and then manually select, okay, I want to track purchases, add to carts, initiate checkout, view content, so on. But here's where it gets it's good. Related to this change, you no longer need to set up and prioritize web events nor verify your domain for aggregated event measurements because they are removing the aggregated event measurements tab. So not only does this make our lives 10 times easier for advertisers, but it will also give you better results in the near future. I'm going to anticipate you don't have the chance for mishap setting things up yourself. It's already going to be done for you. And it seems like for once, Facebook is making things things easier for us as advertisers instead of making things more difficult. This doesn't happen a lot, so sit back and enjoy it. And here's a couple of bullet points about the aggregated event measurements. We already know that you no longer need to prioritize eight conversion events per domain. The cool thing is like you can go into the aggregated events and you can still target more than eight events if you want to. You could target purchase, you could target leads, you could target anything that you want as long as it's an event that your pixel will track. And I think they have a couple of other options that I didn't look too deep into, but but it's definitely something worth checking out if you're an advertiser on Facebook. So the best thing is that our web conversions, the optimization is going to get better and you don't need to turn on value sets in order to use the value optimization, which makes things a lot simpler, I think. And the next point they hit, the aggregated event measurement tab in Meta Events Manager has been removed because you no longer need to configure your web events. I think that saves so much time right there. You aren't required to verify your website domains for purposes related to event configuration, that's going to save a lot of mishap. I don't know if you've ever sold a business, worked on a business with a partner, you bought a business, but if your domain gets locked in and it got verified, it's locked into that ad account and you can't get it out unless they give you permission. So that's going to save a lot of problems for a lot of people running ads on Facebook. However, you may still need to verify your domain for other reasons. We can learn when to use domain verification here. If you have an ad account on Facebook, you're going to get this update. I'm not sure if they rolled it out to all ad accounts yet, but look deeper, click on the links like this and learn when to use the domain verification. I'm not sure every advertiser is going to need it, but it's just really great because you don't need to select a conversion domain when you create a campaign in ads manager. So everything's just getting a lot easier. Aggregated event measurement is designed to help keep people's data and it's used to facilitate conversion reporting and ads optimization. So after the iOS 14 update, data was getting skewed triple well came in to help attribute the data it looks like facebook is coming up with their own solutions and they're making aggregated event measurements more accurate track better making it easier to apply to your ad accounts and the ads you run so it's really good that they're making the ad optimization more private it will continue to evolve to help advertisers support consumer privacy uh, we all know that facebook doesn't care too much about our privacy but it's better for us to know that us as advertisers our life is going to be getting easier and we're going to be able to track data more efficiently in the near future, I hope. And I don't know if you paid attention to Facebook at all in April and May and what has been going on because it has been an absolute shit show. But there's a couple of big events that happened in the last two months that are going to change Facebook going forward and they have definitely affected a lot of our competition. So the first point I want to hit on April 23rd, Facebook spent all of the budget at once for most advertisers on Facebook. I have many friends, many people in my network who are spending thousands of dollars that day on ads. Some of them were spending up to 30K a day on the 23rd and it spent it all in a second. And guess what? Facebook acknowledged the issue. It was a huge problem, but the thing was a lot of advertisers took a huge L that day because they hit them with the message. They spent 30K in like one second, got shit results because of it. and. Facebook 
Facebook only offered them a $3,000 credit back to their account. And then in late April throughout May, ad spend and ad results has been very volatile. And I'm wondering if that's because of the shit show that took place on April 23rd when Facebook kind of broke. So there's been a couple of bugs, a lot of things going on. I want to tell you about the bugs, but I wonder if it's because Facebook in quarter two has been laying off thousands of employees. So basically, I don't know why they did this because I think Facebook needs employees. I guess they're trying to minimize the amount of people they have to rely more on AI. But for them, I think they have issues to figure out first before they're able to do that. Like their customer support completely trash. Their systems make no sense. So if they're laying off these employees and they're taking that money and devoting it to the system to make it operate better so that when we launch ads, it actually goes through a correct review process and then moral ads don't get banned for no reason and ad accounts don't go down for no reason. I think that's a great thing. But most of these issues we're seeing, most of these bugs, most of these Facebook cracks, this volatile spend, the volatile results, this can all be from them laying off thousands of people during quarter two of 2023. And there was actually a huge Facebook bug that I ran into with a brand new ad account. And I know many of you are making new ad accounts. If you make a new ad account and you notice that you go to upload a brand new payment method, a brand new card, an Amex card, a debit card, a credit card. If you go to upload that and you notice an error saying that you can't please contact support and then you go to contact support and then you see that there's no option to contact support for your brand new ad account. I've been through this. I've figured out the solution. So I was digging through everything. Every YouTube video, I went to Google. I went to ChatGPT. I couldn't find anything on ChatGPT about this bug, probably because ChatGPT isn't in real time yet. Not 100% sure, but I went to my network. Somebody else had the problem. Somebody else solved it. They told me that I had to add a second person to this ad account that wasn't accepting the payment method. And what I did is I didn't connect the actual profile to the account. I connected a business manager through a partner. So what I did was I went to the main ad account. I went into the business settings and I clicked give access to a partner. And then all I needed was their business manager ID to connect the partner business manager to my business manager. And then you connect all the Facebook assets to their Facebook profile so they could access the page. And then you just go to the ad account and then you add the payment method. And it was the same exact payment method that I added onto the ad account. So to make it simple, I made a new ad account. I went to go add the payment method. It didn't work. I got an error. I connected somebody else's profile to the ad account and they put in the same exact card and it worked. So that's one way to get around that bug. It is truly Facebook's fault. I did nothing wrong. But the thing is, it's still a great time to run ads. I'm still making money. Other people are making money. And with all of these mishaps, all these bugs, all this volatility, a lot of advertisers are actually struggling right now. So it's a really good time to start launching more ads so that you can become that top dog in your niche, in your industry for the product you're selling and maybe get some really promising results. Results. Now, big updates are coming to Facebook ads, and I'm actually really excited about it because I think the future looks a lot brighter than it has been after COVID. And these are some student results from the course I just released on dropshipping and e-commerce. If you want to learn how to make a passive income or scale your store or get your Facebook ad account back, get in there. The link is down below in the description. And if you want to absolutely dominate Facebook ads with a proven strategy, click this video right here.